Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Mortis here, and it is time for another first look. Today, War Thunder. Now, if you may recall, a couple of days back I did World of Warplanes and figured, hey, I was in the beta for this too at one point, I should check it out again. And luckily for me, it is an open beta, anyone can play it at this point in time if you just make an account and download it. And <clears throat> so far, I gotta say, of the two that I've played, this game is hands down the more enjoyable. Uh, there are just a ton of different aircraft, and I can show you real quick by researching. This is the American line. Basically, the way that you gain into the lines is you have to level up the individual air force, whether it be the uh, Americans, German, English, Japanese, uh, or Chinese. They have Chinese, apparently. Cool. I don't know why they don't have Russian. Didn't Russia have planes? I could have sworn. Anyways, um, but basically the way you do it is you have to gain both your individual level and you also have to level up within the confines of the specific Air Force in order to go through the different lines. Now, they have a ton of different planes. They have the uh, sea-based planes, carrier-based planes, fighter planes, bombers... I mean, look at that B-17G. Oh, it's so beautiful. The Flying Fortress, one of my favorite aircraft. Not my favorite aircraft, but one of my favorite aircraft. My favorite aircraft is the F-4U Corsair. I love that plane. Don't know why. Just love it. Uh, but there are tech trees for each of them, as you can see. You can go through each of them individually, or you can also buy the uh, gold currency ones. There is, just like in World of Warplanes, a rearm, or not a rearm, but a uh, repair system in this game. Where if your plane goes down, you gotta pay, you know, the lions to repair it. Now, uh, one thing I want to make clear, I have played maybe about four matches now. I'm already up to, you start at level zero, I got up to level one already. And you start at 10,000 lions. So as you can see, the lion gain is actually pretty good for a free-to-play account. Uh, as far as the modes and everything, we can go through here real quick. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, if you remember in the last time I played, which was World of Warplanes, my, uh, my joystick went to hell. I don't know what the hell happened to it, it just went wobbly. Well, it fixed itself. It's fine now, and I have no idea how that happened either, so... I will be showing you how to use that, uh, first, or just show you it, because I like to fly inside the cockpit, and this has a full virtual cockpit real working instruments real movements everything it's awesome um but it's funny because i actually find that mouse flying is almost easier at least in arcade the arcade mode is the only one that i've played because it keeps things relatively simple uh there are three different types of modes there is arcade mode which there are no g-force damages uh there is assisted gunning assisted flying you know they make it so you can't stall out and things like that uh, and then you have in-air reloading, whereas in historical, you have G-Force damages and stalls and everything. You also have limited fuel and limited ammunition. And the way you have to reload is to land and land, I think it's either at an airfield or an aircraft carrier, depending on the map. And then there is, uh, what is it? Full flight or something. I can't remember the exact name of it. But it has all those things plus you only have the in-cockpit view. The different views that you could have, you could have third person, in-cockpit, and uh, just the... what did they call that? I don't know. It, it's basically, it's like first person without the cockpit view, basically. I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, but these are going to be the main game options. You can change the units of measurements and everything else. Show pilot and cockpit, aerial acrobatic smoke type, wings white. Oh, you can actually change that. Cool. Uh, gun targeting distance. You could set all these different things. I might turn up the brightness just a little bit because I actually played... They do have night battles. They're awesome because you can see the tracers just flying everywhere. Flat cannons blazing, bursting all over the place. But it's kind of hard to see. So I just I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, uh, interface. You could change all this different stuff. I don't know why I have a chat filter. I don't even look at the chat really. But uh, show bonuses on screen in arcade. Full real. That's the other name. That's the other mode. 
Uh, and then sound, you could change all this stuff as a matter of fact. And then you could change the voice. Oh, it's not going to play it? Fine, I'll just take mail two then. See if I can. So that's the major game options. We go into the controls. Now you can do mouse aim, which is just using your mouse, which I find to be the simplest thing to do in arcade mode. You do third person with the mouse, and it's just easier to trace people and fire on them and stuff. Simplified controls, it basically depends on what you have set up if you want to use your keyboard mouse, or if you want to use your, your HOTA setup, or just a basic flight stick like I have. Or you can even use your, you know, 360 gamepad or whatever. Uh, realistic controls, you have, and pretty much you have everything you could possibly desire, you can map to whatever you want to. And then the full aircraft controls, that's for the full real mode. Basically, you can have one set up for each individual game mode, which is pretty cool. Uh, it does have a control setup wizard, and you can do that kind of stuff. I won't do that because I already have, and I don't want to mess with it again. Uh, then you have the encyclopedia to learn you about all of the nice little planes and whatnot. It's so pretty. And there is a benchmark. The benchmark is just basically a recreation of a battle. And you can test your different uh, video options. Now, where are my video options? Post FX settings? Vignette, Sharp, and TBS. Sure, why not? I have no idea what any of that stuff does, so I'm just going to leave it alone. Now, for some reason, I can't change my video options. Is that launcher? That must be launcher only. Uh, but it does have a pretty pretty nice settings uh, list for your graphics. So I think I have mine set at high, not, uh, not ultra. Just because usually when I record, I have some issues with ultra. It just kind of stutters a little bit so I just kind of leave it on high for now uh, let's see here so we can go out of that now it starts you off with reserve planes you get to take all of these into battle when you go into battle and you queue up based on the uh, the Air Force that you want to join so here we have and hang on a second let me just there we go all right so in the American side, you start off with three P-26As. Oh, I'm sorry, two P-26As and a P-26B. These are the only single-winged airplane that you start off with. Everyone else has the biplanes. Here's the German with the HE-51s. Then you have the Chinese with their I-15s. They all look the same, pretty much. That's like a sports one. That's, that's one you see at a county fair. <laughs> uh, whoops, that's the... That's right. That's the Japanese. You just get a little really clunky looking biplane there in the Ki-10. Uh, and then in the English or UK side, whatever you want to call it, you get the Fury MK-1, the MK-2, and the Nimrod. Because I am such a Nimrod. Uh, the This one is the only one... Or a set that I have not taken out yet. As you can see, well, I'm sorry, no, I haven't taken out the German one either. Uh, you have X2, just like in anything else, you get, or just like any of the other free to plays, you get the uh, 2x bonus for your first win. So I guess we'll be taking out the, yeah, we'll take out the, <coughs> excuse me, the UK side. Uh, I just want to show you really quick. You can, of course, get more Golden Eagles by buying them with real world money. And I don't know how much it is, because let's see if it tells me. Nope, I guess you can't purchase it a minute. Nope, maybe you can. Maybe you can, okay. Well, hopefully I didn't just screw up the recording. <laughs> but, we shall see. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to pause it real quick, just to be on the safe side. Okay, we're back. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize I was going to minimize me to a window, so... I really hate that. That's one thing that uh, most free-to-play games, they take you to a browser-based buy system. Why can't they just have it in the game? They have everything else in the game. Look, friends list. Look, a uh, chat and a event log telling me the things that I have done for my countries. But of course, you can buy more gold. You can buy a premium account. You can exchange gold for lions, which, as you can see, once again, has a really crappy exchange rate, just like any other game. Uh, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to get right into the battle. The first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the uh, the joystick flying in the cockpit view. Just to give you an idea of how it looks, how pretty it is. 
And then the next match, I will go into it with the third person mouse. So let's just get right on in. We have ground strike operations and domination operations. The main goal is to assist your ground troops. Now there are ground troops. There are actual mobile ground troops. There are armored cars, armored flak or uh, mobile flak um, and tanks, things of that sort. And apparently, eventually, you're going to be able to actually run those. As you can see, the feature's not available yet for the army or the fleet. But apparently, they're going to allow you to have your own little armies that you can the kind of RTS style. Uh, but we'll see how that comes of it. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to queue right in. Uh, I can tell about the other one. The other one is domination. The other uh, That's basically a capture and control. There are airfields in which you can land to capture. Or technically, you don't have to land, just fly over really low and really slow. Um, but it's just like three points, and you just fight between the two. And then ground strike is where you just destroy the enemy troops. You blow up the uh, the airfields and the gas depots, things of that sort. So, we'll go ahead and wait. This shouldn't take too long, usually. As you can see, there's nobody. Rank 1 through 0, or 0 through 1, queued up for the uh, Japan side. Nobody likes those little clunkers, apparently. Alright, so this is Domination in Krimsk. Ta-da! That's how you do it. You land three planes in a perfectly aligned row. Alright, so, I could take one of the three planes out, but I have all three to my advantage. So if one goes down, I take out the next one. So... We'll just take the Fury. And we shall let the Fury begin. Alright, in cockpit view. As you can see, things are moving, things are grooving. Good stuff, yes. Now you also have this view, as I was telling you before, the just minimalist view. Or the third person. Whee! Now you can still somewhat black out in this mode. Sort of. And one of the nicer things is the fact that there is a, uh, it's not an incremental, um, you know, it's not an incremental throttle like in World of Warplanes. It is actually a full spectrum up and down. All right, so we're going to go down, we're going to go after uh, the A point here. See if I can just do a rolling, uh, rolling cab here. Oh, this only has one point. Oh, that's gonna make things really interesting. Especially since I'm already being shot at. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, oh, get off me! And there is realistic damage, they can take out your wings, they can take out your uh, engine. Uh, and they already got my wing. Oh, and look at that, my freaking controller just went wonky again. Why does it hate me? That's what I want to know. Uh, get him off me! Get him off me! Ow, ow, ow! Ah, crap. Oh, there's two of them. Well, that'd do it. Oh look, and now my freaking controller is back to normal. Why is it doing that? That is so strange. But anyways, we're back. And of course you can zoom in, like so. It really is just a pretty, pretty game though. Alright, are you okay now, controller? Is everything fine?
He's down. Yeah. I'm trying to remember all the buttons right now. <laughs> And he's down. Good night, sweetheart. Where well, is time to go? Oh, and we're taking A. Somebody landed. Yeah, good job. Yep, my wing's looking a little rough there. That's my other one. Other one's fine. Only need one anyways. Alright, I'm gonna get a little altitude here. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of listing because that wing is kind of messed up. Oh god, flak. Converge! Kill! Main! <laughs> Apparently somebody got him. Oh dear. Oh dear. Get him off me. Ah, my wing is so messed up right now. Aha, fooled you. Take him over the airfield here. Get him a little... Little flack. Oh no! No, stop it! Oh no. Oh no. Come on, engine. Hold. Hold, engine. One more plane. And I'm coming in hard. Ooh. Keep it up. Victory will be yeah. He's got rear guns, so I gotta be careful here. He's also got more speed than I do, what the hell? The speed burst! And he's still out running me. Okay, whatever. Oh no, they're taking the Good, the pedal just kind of flips on its own. Guess you can't have everything. 
And there are dumbfire rockets and bombs in this game that you can spec into when you have the right uh, the right plane to do so. No, I will not reduce speed. I'm going in balls blazing. I'm okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're on fire. We're on fire. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to land it. I'm going to land it. I'm going to land it in the trees. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh! Soft landing. Landed on a critically thing. Let's keep the pressure on. I lived. I'm out, but I lived. <laughs> and of course, you could leave as soon as you're out. You don't have to wait around for the uh, game to finish. So there is the joystick control in the cockpit mode. Now next, I'm going to pause it real quick and uh, change out my settings here. And we will begin with the mouse mode. Alright, we're back and we're in mouse mode. So, we did that. Do we want to do the, uh, the Germans? No, we're going to do Americans. Because America, yeah. Besides, I like the uh, single prop or the single wing plane. I don't like biplanes. Just, just because I don't know. They don't seem like military craft. They seem like crop dusters that they just slapped a little freaking fifty cal onto or something. But that's just me. So now we wait, and now we stop waiting. Ooh. Ground strike, African Canyon. Destroy enemy planes and ground vehicles. Bomb out the enemy base. Will do. Roger Wilco. So on and so forth. Now, surprisingly, in this game, the mouse controls are a hell of a lot smoother than the World of War planes. I mean, literally, it actually follows you to a T. And if you want to go up and around, just hold it and it will do it all by itself. And of course you do have the keyboard so you can do your little rolls if you want to. Of course they're not going to be as fast as with the joystick. But the throttle is just the W and S key. You can kind of tap it to set it to what you want it to be at. It's pretty nice. The middle mouse button is how you change a target. So say I want to target that. Nope, not you. Not you. You. Coming on in. As soon as I get in range, I will get the little uh, Helpy Helperton lead indicator. He's fast. He's very fast. I don't know if I'm going to catch him up in time. Oh, there we go. Ah, he's just kind of... You do oh he just kind of oh okay he crashed that'll work <laughs> and of course if you want to you can fly in cockpit mode it's just a little jarring as you can see oops and for some reason f1 brings up your key controls f2 is your cockpit and f3 is your uh third person view yeah, there's flak everywhere! It's in the trees. I'm coming to get you. You are mine. Oh, yes. You are mine! Quite close enough yet. 
Gotta get in a little bit, uh, a little more here. I'm not. There we go, got a hit. Got him. He's going down. I'm just gonna kinda make sure he goes down. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! Bad flying. Luckily, in arcade mode, it's very, very forgiving. Alright, so I need a new target. It might be you. Is there anyone else closer? Actually, I should look. One second here. What is my... Uh, what is my view? My look around. C. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's better. We're climbing for a little altitude. And we're going down on that swordfish. Or... I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, die! He's got to be a heavier fighter than me. But he's also got a rear gun, so he's obviously a mini bomber. Got him smoking, got him smoking. There, yes, got him, took his wing off. He's down, another wing's gone. Boom, baby. Yeah. It lives me that easy, buddy. Come on now. Ah, reloading. 17, 16, 15. Come on. I'm right on him. I gotta peel off because there's other guys shooting. I'd rather keep myself somewhat intact here. Alright, we're good now. Killing them down here. Look at that. Look at that. I'm at the top three and I got a pea shooter. Oh, that's going to be a canyon wall. <laughs> that did not end well. But we're going right back in. Uh. I love how the pilot actually moves around in there, too. A little added 
bit of realism, a little feel, a little, little something. There's a chipmunk down there. I should kill him. <clears throat> oh, we going in hot and heavy now. Death from above. Screw you, reducing speeds. Light out a little there. I gotta wait for the reload. I'm gonna circle back on him. Is he already down? Yeah. Moving on. We! 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 Thank you to the, uh... Oh no! Mid-air collision! Fuel leak! Fuel leak! I'm going down! He's going down! We're both going down. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Last plane. Gotta make it count. It's gotta, go, gotta go awesome. Who do we go after? How are we looking anyways? Uh, kind of even-ish. Back here. Get back here. I won't tell you twice. I already told you twice, but I won't tell you twice again. <laughs> He's going down. Going all the way down. Boom. <laughs> Let's see here. Looking good so far. See, I seem to be lasting a lot longer and getting more hits doing it in third person with the mouse. I think it's just because it's more tailored to that. Now next I'm going to run a, uh, a historical battle. I'll put my controller back in. Just to see what the big difference is between the two. Up and over. Here we go. Sneak attack. That's a hit. That's a hit! Yeah! Oh, there's things down there that need killing. Boom. But 
happened to the rest of their planes though? There's one. Coming around. Nimble, aren't you? But down. Goodbye, wings. Goodbye, plane. I think we got all the plane or uh, ground vehicles there. We only have six ground vehicles left. We have 23. The hostile team has lost all of its aircraft. Fantastic. Yes, I made it through an entire match. That's awesome. See, in arcade mode, that is a lot easier, I think. I got second place. Nice. Ooh! I unlock something. Sweet. How do I get it? Let's find out. Research! Uh, the F2A1 Buffalo. Yes, I will order you, sir. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, put into service. Uh, you must have a conversion training. Retraining for the same. Uh, yes. Yes, I shall. All right, so as you can see, I put one of my reserve planes out of commission. And just put me back to this one. The reserve planes, I do not believe, have any uh, uh, repair costs or anything like that, whereas these will. So, with that in mind, whoops. Let us, hang on a second, let me plug back in my joystick here, see if it'll recognize it right off the bat, or if I actually have to restart the game in order to do it. This will be a nice test, I think. Plug it in. There we go. It is plugged in. And... Pick up on the desk here. There we are. Okay. Uh, hmm. Controls. I think it'll recognize it right off the bat. That'll be nice if it does. Okay, so... Next... We're going pure historical. Just make sure, because I'm getting strange sounds here. Oh, there we go. All right. And we will change this to, as you can see, they have a nice little listing here. And we are doing the Extreme 3D Pro. Select layout. There we are. And, yep, everything looks good. Nice! Very nice, I like it. So, let us begin. Really, you have to do the tutorial in order to do the historic battles? What? No. No, I think not. Fine, we're gonna take the crappy little J uh, Japanese planes. We're gonna go into another arcade battle. Because, no, that's not right. I don't want to have to do all that. I already know how to fly a plane. I've been proving it. With my elite skills. And crashes. Domination. Stalingrad. This should be fun. Maybe it'll be a night battle. That'd be kind of cool. Show you that. There's morning battles, daytime battles, and night battles, and each of them pretty cool. But it looks like today is just going to be a run-of-the-mill daytime battle. Maybe. Actually, it looks a little overcast, doesn't it? No, oh, maybe not. There's the sun right there. There it is. All right, we. Flying. B 
bitte, bitte, bitte. Yeah. So you can see very rudimentary uh, control scheme in here. Not much. But it works. Alright, I'm gonna try for a landing. By going as fast as I possibly can. Touchdown. We have captured a zone. It's a rolling capture. We're rolling out. Oh, nicely done, sir. Nicely done. <laughs> wow, somebody quick, quick. We've captured a zone. Excellent. Can't wait to keep playing this game and to get into some of the uh, higher tier stuff. Oh, he's down. That was quick. Let's see if I can help my buddy out here. A hit! I got a hit! It's a miracle. I got you covered, buddy. I got you covered, yeah! I'm taking damage. We're winning. I got him! <laughs> Peace out, yo. Oh, a big old battle going on up there between two people. Maybe not big, then. Oop. Taking hits, taking hits. This me. Take it down low. You can hit play or you can hit the trees. So I'm trying to trying to shake it here. Hopefully one of my buddies comes soon. He runs out of ammo. Out. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Ah, I think he crashed. He's on fire. He is down. I think with enough practice, I could probably get pretty good at the stick. Get a little altitude here. Wings are kind of shot, not too bad. And now for the stall dive. Okay, moving in. That's a lot of red. That's a lot of red. I don't know if I want to go in there by myself. Well, 
that guy's down. Maybe, I don't know if he's down enough. Nope, he's down enough. <laughs> so go over there and help him out. Oh, hell no. If you dare, fly into the sun. I'm Icarus. You know how well that ended for him? Or for me? Reloading. He's down anyways. Where's my wing? Not good. Not good. But I've seen worse. Usually, I'm an exploded airplane, but it's still worse. Yes, I know my right wing. Thank you. Ah. Not really maneuverable anymore. You're right, I do. Thank you. Ah. Oh. I still got two more planes left. Wee! Oh god, I'm gonna vomit! Oh, this should not be physically possible. Okay. I think I peed myself a little bit. I'm okay. See 
you out there. Know that I am coming for you. You will be mine. Oh dear. Well, they've lost more people than we have. We only lost two so far. They're still winning just based on points. If I can get down and land this thing, we might be able to retake B without them seeing me. Pretty big if. So far they're kind of stuck on the other guys, so... Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> Probably too little too late, but... If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Noticed. Got my own wing! No! But I got him with me! <laughs> One more plane. Guys. Let's see, oh they got C as well. Roger that, I'm going for C. Little bastard P26 over there, trying to steal my stuff. I think not. Flies. Stay alive! Stay alive! Get it! Get it! Get it! No! No! And... Oh, he's back! Uh, come on! Uh, Alright, that's it. This point is my point. Let's 
See what you get? I heard you explode back there. There we go. So we'll just take off. There we are. Of course, my plane took a little damage in the process, but at least we stalled the capture. Might be able to eke out this one. Barely. If we can get to B and take it and hold it. Because it looks like, yep, most of their planes, they got one, two, three, four planes. We got one, two, three, four, five we got a chance here. I'm just going to see if I can get right in there and take B. I'm not even going to worry about it. I don't think there is anyone else around right now. Oh, there is one. But he just exploded. I'm down. It's over. Oh! But they may still have enough. Ah, the guy that killed me went down as well. We may still have enough to hold. May just barely. They got one hours. Uh, he's the only. Oh, no, we got two planes. But he's not having a good time. No, he's not. Oh, oh. There you go, there you go. Just kind of juke him there. Juke him. Yes! Look, look at that ground juking! That's awesome. That's win right there. We already got the point. You need to take off. Go, go, go. Fly, you fool. Oh, we got a third plane on the field. Nope, just two. Ah, oh, it's going to be a close one. But we're not going to wait. We're just going to end it. So, thanks for watching. Check it out. Link in the description below and all that. Have fun.